before I started making videos and uh, before I try I'm trying I started trying to build a better relationship with God I gave before I gave my life to Jesus and before I tried starting to better my life I was I was I was just a corn addict like you I was basically wasting my life away as a middle schooler I was a fat kid in the school I played video games I watched corn and I ate junk food and yeah and I can say I liked my life but I, I really I really didn't like it I really didn't like the life I wasn't really proud of life I was I was living back then until one day your your boy Warren <laughs> I know it sounds cringe but decided to get on self improvement and yeah I did I had my challenges along the way and it, and quitting corn 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 was part of, part of it was part of my self improvement and I'm not saying I did not have my ups and downs there's times I went back to it but the, but no matter what I got back up until then I, I discovered semen retention and my body was doing it my spirit and took it in yet I didn't know what I was doing at the time and after that I didn't really I didn't really watch it ever again and it wasn't until then I gave my after I gave gave my life to Jesus I never picked up picked up corn addiction ever corn ever again and do I do I have times I have thoughts thoughts about going back to it? Do I have times I'm tempted to go back to it? Yes, of course I do. I do. I still have my. I still. I'm still human. I still. I know that God has given me the strength I need to conquer lust, to conquer, to be more than a conqueror. But there's times that the enemy does tempt me to go back to my old ways. Anyway, after I gave my life to Jesus. I were to having a better relationship relationship with them and with the Heavenly Father. I was building my relationship with them and when I started to build my started to stay focused on God, my my life started to get better and I started to have love, more love, joy and peace. And yes, it's not I did have my challenges. Of course the devil didn't like that. He did try to stop stop me. He, he did try to get me back to my old ways. But I was focused on God, and the more I started to focus on God, I never picked picked that 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 disgusting stuff ever again. And when I got to know never no not November, no not November, and I don't really buy to buy into it that much. I wasn't paying too much attention to it, but what I can notice. Ever since God has lifted the veil from my eyes and has given me give me the spiritual spiritual eyes eyes by the by the help of the Holy Spirit, spiritual discernment to see what's going on not only in the physical realm, but what's going on in the spiritual realm, the spiritual realm. And I was really I was thinking during during November the temptations to go to go back to corn, to go back to masturbation and to go back to lust was like was like high like really high but hey i i still i still my ground against against those temptations against the enemy because i know christ jesus was with me because i stand for christ and i was like i came too far too far to, to fall back and when november came to end the temptations felt like fell like down i was tempted but it was like eh and this is what we could tell you during, during from there and up to here now. And now, cause I'm I'm closer to God, and I build up my foundation in, in on Christ. These temptations are, re are like really really nothing to me. And it, it really not nothing. The enemy has to send special forces forces to get me in a fall. <laughs> this, this, I'm just keeping it real. But in all seriousness, no seriousness. That's that's what usually happens in no not November. The thing is that during the during this time, the devil is really is really working. He really is working to make sure that men stay where they are. 
they trying to make sure that men continue to waste their life away and not do and not do anything significant in their lives. They're, he's trying to make sure that men continue to stay feminine and feminine, and and while women continue to stay mask masculine or like fem feminist, like female empowerment. That's what the devil try is trying to do. He's working hard, hard, even harder during this this month to make sure men stay where they are. So he can take. Can, this is time that the enemy tries is like trying to make sure that the bond, like the bondage, the, that the men's bondage to lust is like, like tight, like very tight. Make sure that that the strong, make sure that this strong, like the stronghold of lust is like very, like very firm. That's what the enemy is trying to do during this, during this month. But I'm here to tell y'all about, about about no November. Why are you so worried about not nutty in in like during this month where you're not be nutty for the rest of your life, but but until marriage? Why are you worried about staying celibate for this one for one month? Yet you can be celibate for the, for the rest of your life. Or until you get married, wherever you decide to choose. That's that's my question. Because I'm t I'm making this video because you no know, not when it comes to no November, it's really it's really a waste of time. It was really a waste of time because you're doing it for one month. You're doing something that you could do that you're doing something that you could do for the rest of your life. And you, and do you have any idea what what the benefits are? I'll talk more about that another another video, but you know you could be doing doing. I know you know the benefits of not nothing, and but don't you want to experience those benefits for the rest of, rest of your life? And the thing is that you can't conquer conquer your mass masturbation addiction or your corn addiction on your own. You can't do it. Like I, I to be he the ones to bear bad, be a barrier of bad news, but you can't do it. Don't, the thing is that you need a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And I know, I know some of y'all are gonna click on this video, but hear me out. The thing about having a personal relationship with Jesus is that when you give your life to Jesus, you're reconciled. You're reconciled unto God. And you and you make peace with them, and now you have the right to enter into His presence. And cause and cause you're you're so full of love, joy, and peace, cause what he, what He's delivered you from. You want you want more of God, you want more of Him. And you of course you're gonna try to and you're gonna continue to seek Him, and you're gonna take and you're gonna continue to want to be His presence, presence even when you don't feel like it. And the thing is, as you continue to spend more time with God and be in His presence, like when you're praying, when you're fasting, when you're worshiping, or when you're reading, reading the Word of God, eventually, that addiction, where that addiction, addiction you're struggling with, is gonna wash, wash off. It's gonna, it's gonna be washed away by, by the Holy Spirit, which, which the, the Holy Spirit is. Spirit is, is doing through the sanctification process who is trying to conform you to the image of Christ to the day of the Lord and you may and of course you don't have to listen to what I say but you may you may conquer conquer it for a, for a while maybe I don't know I'll give it like two months I guess a few months three months whatever but eventually your flesh will get, get weak and you're back where you started so that's why having a personal relationship with Jesus is key. Because I know you want to come to lust for the rest of your life. And you want to have, have fit you over it. And it starts by having a personal relationship with Jesus. Anyway, that's about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. And until then, don't be malicious. Follow Christ.